Good morning. Welcome parents, families, and guests. I am Jeff Cranson, principal of Greeley West High School. It is with great honor and pride that I preside over the 52nd commencement ceremony for Greeley West High School in the class of 2018. I'm gonna start off by introducing our special guests who have joined me on stage. Dr. Julia Richards, Board of Education Director. Mr. John Hayfley, Board of Education Director. Ms. Terry Pappas, Board of Education Director. Mr. Michael Matthews, Board of Education Director. Dr. Deirdre Pilch, Superintendent. Dr. Randa, Rhonda Hannaford, Assistant Superintendent. Dr. Stacy Dattery, Chief Academic Officer, Assistant Superintendent. Ms. Amy Zuloff, Assistant Principal. Mr. Ken Denning, Assistant Principal Athletic Director. Dr. Suzette Lester, Assistant Principal. Ms. Leah Sanford, Greeley West Teacher of the Year. Mr. Don Wagner, our keynote speaker. And Ms. Tammy Parker, Greeley West alumni and teacher representative. We have 321 graduates from Greeley West High School this year. Yeah, let's give them a round of applause. But I want to take a moment to thank those of you that are here today. Every graduate here has an incredible story and journey that has gotten them here. On behalf of the graduates, I want to recognize all of the moms, dads, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, grandparents, babysitters, coaches, and everyone else here to support us, who helped change diapers, drive us over, all over town, sat through practices, concerts, track meets, and performances, tutored, bought shoes, bats, uniforms, cookie dough, and coupon cards, and did countless other duties to get us here today. Graduates, stand up and thank your families and friends. Thank you. At this time, I will ask our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Pilch, and Greeley West High School Teacher of the Year, Ms. Leah Sanford, to come forward to assist in presenting the awards for valedictorian, valedictorian and salutatorian. It is with great honor to acknowledge the class of 2018 valedictorian and salutatorian. These students are to be recognized for their superior academic excellence and persistence throughout their high school careers. The salutatorian for the class of 2018 with a 4.4 GPA and attending Colorado School of Mines next year studying biomedical engineering is Ms. Katie Gorslein. And congratulations, Katie. The valedictorian for the class of 2018 with a 4.5 GPA, attending the University of California at Berkeley next year, studying mathematics, is Mr. Jackson Starkey. Congratulations, Jackson. Jackson. These two exceptional students are great representatives of our community who embody our philosophy of, at West of one for all. 
with all the work they've put in both inside and outside the classroom. Thank you again for all of you accomplished at our school, and we cannot wait to see the great things you will go on to as you represent your school, your community, and your families as you go out in the world. At this time, Jackson and Katie will say goodbye to the past and hello to the future. In the words of student body president, Lake Michael Sands, hey guys, when they told me I was supposed to give a speech saying goodbye to West and reflecting on all the memories here. I wasn't sure how I could do it in just two to three minutes. Then I remembered I'm salutatorian and nobody remembers the first loser. Yeah, that took most of the pressure off. I could give you a whole bunch of cliches about pretty mountains or a diverging stream, maybe a tree or some other weird nature imagery that, quite frankly, I don't understand and half of you wouldn't either. So instead, I picked a much more widely known, understandable and universal topic, neurobiology. Okay, half of you aren't paying attention and the other half aren't going to remember this anyway, so I figured I'd at least speak on something I understand. The human brain is divided into four main lobes, the frontal, parietal, occipital and temporal. Each region is responsible for different things, but they all work together to make us, us. The frontal lobe is responsible for cognitive functions, voluntary tasks, our humanness, pretty much your personality. It's what makes some of you extroverted. You guys who had to sit in the front of the student section had to be involved in numerous clubs, sports, and other extracurricular activities. It's what makes other of you introverted. The ones who were dragged to all the football games by said crazy extroverted friend. Joined all the clubs against your better judgment. Led by example, held our school up and laid a firm foundation from behind the scenes. The frontal lobe is also where you get your goals from. There are kids in our class going straight into the workforce. Some are joining the armed forces, others are going off to college, and even others are taking a gap year, which I'm not sure, but I think it's a year of vacationing. I'm just kidding. Go use your frontal lobe, make some goals. We love you. The parietal lobe is associated with sensory skills. It processes things like language, numbers, and spatial relations. It's the lobe in my brain that tried desperately to process IB Spanish for four years. The lobe that still doesn't quite understand the difference between qual and k. It's a lobe that helps certain math geniuses teach themselves some weird kind of imaginary math class. It's the lobe that told the junior escorts if we truly walked in in a straight line. The lobe that told us there was no more room on the rail at football games, but we squeezed in every single one of our friends anyways. The next lobe is the occipital lobe. This lobe houses the, the visual cortex that is responsible for processing visual stimuli. This is the unfortunate lobe who had to process what the heck we were seeing when Mr. Davis dressed up as a very convincing Caitlyn Jenner. It's the lobe that sometimes shut down when we were pretending to look at the Lee zoned out. It's the lobe that saw all kinds of beautiful costumes and sets on the Greeley West Theater stage that saw someone wearing slightly too short of shorts or maybe a little bit of shoulder and you just knew they were gonna get dress coded. It's the lobe that's going to be overstimulated by all the amazing things you will go on to see. Like that first day of college when all the clubs are out on the street trying to get you to join and there's just too much to look at. Or maybe your sergeant's face as he yells at you and a little spit comes out. Or maybe all of the beautiful sights you'll see of the world on your gap year. Either way, you guys are about to see some incredible things. The final lobe is the temporal lobe. This processes auditory stimuli and gives you the ability to hear this weird speech. It also houses the amygdala, responsible for emotions, specifically fear. It is in this section, or it is this section, that made you terrified Every time you saw the boom team put their hands up in preparation for bananas, 
it made you panic when you saw Rudy, Ronnie, or Ronette, and you knew you were late for class. The amygdala made you irrationally afraid of every test you ever took. It is making you afraid of tripping on this stage in a few minutes when you come get your diploma. It will make you scared for all the new things coming in your life. All the changes, new friends, new places, new jobs, new adventures, new everything. Life is going to be scary. Lucky for us, the amygdala is right next to the hippocampus. The hippocampus stores all the memories that will help us conquer the fears in our new lives. The memories like all the spirit weeks, the four West Central football games that we won, <laughs> car caravan, memories like senior sunrise, senior sunset, our first high school homecoming, or our last high school prom. Memories, Jackson's starkey belly dance at Dancing with the Palms. <laughs> Things like Principal Crump, or Lake and I messing up the announcements every single day. All of the awkward singing Valentines. This spring musical, where I was the first loser to another one of my best friends in the aerial show. The late night AP or IB study sessions. Maybe the Saturdays your teachers made you come in to take practice tests. All of the basketball, football, and volleyball games we went to. All of the baseball, soccer, and swim events we said we were going to go to and then never did. <sighs> Memories of all the big life events that made high school, high school, and made you into the person you are today. The hippocampus holds all of these memories that you get to take with you, wherever you go. When I was a freshman, people told me high school was going to be the best four years of my life like life was gonna peak or something. Some of you are like, heck yeah, it was a blast. <laughs> Others of you, your faces are like, oh gosh, I hope not. <laughs> but no matter what kind of memories you have of high school in these last four years, I want you to make the next four even greater. And then four after that, even greater. <laughs> As you face your fears, use your beautiful high school memories but never let them hold you back from the even more incredible things you will accomplish in your future. It has been a blessing and an honor to spend these last four years with you guys. I love you, I'll miss you, and I can't wait to see what each and every one of you do. Thank you and God bless. Just when you thought you got rid of me, I have one more thing. When Mr. Cranston first asked me to give a speech, I said I would only do it if I could introduce our next speaker. He was like, hmm, yeah, okay, whatever, Katie. So I decided to tell a little story. On the first day of high school, I walked into a class called MYPCLC and sat next to some skinny little kid. A whole bunch of girls around me were like, oh my gosh, do you know who that is? That kid is in AP Calc as a freshman. And I turned around and was like, excuse me? Up until that point in my life, I had never met someone who was better than me at math. <laughs> so in that moment, I knew I had a choice to make. This kid was either going to be my mortal enemy or my best friend. Since I didn't think it was wise to make enemies on the first day of high school, I went up to him and said, Hi, I heard you're an AP Calc. We're gonna be best friends. <laughs> he gave me this look and was like, um, okay. <laughs> but after four years of forcing him to be said best friend, I have learned he has one of the greatest characters someone ha can have. I've watched him become the most hardworking, witty, and kind person who puts more time and effort into this school than any other student I know. I've watched him lead others, sing and dance in ridiculous costumes. But most importantly, I've watched him change me into the kind of girl who can actually stifle her crazy, over-competitive nature as she realizes she is actually blessed to be the first loser because she couldn't come in second to anybody else. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, your valedictorian, Jackson Starkey. Man, Katie Gorsline, the pinnacle 
of responsibility, initiative, and vision. I'm telling you, if it weren't for several social and physiological barriers, I would marry that woman. Wow, you guys are stunning, all of you. I practiced in front of my dad, so I got kind of used to an ugly audience, but you guys, truly incredible. Okay, class of 2018, not a class for much longer. Thanks to the work of so many outstanding teachers, dedicated coaches, and supportive parents, we're finally ready to gain independence as a generation, become innovative leaders in the community, and max out credit cards. I think what gets me most about graduating is that now our futures branch off in a million different ways. Well, about 320 different ways, actually. You know, one year from now, our class will be spread across 57 different cities in 13 states, or something like that. I didn't actually do any research for this. Why would I? <laughs> it's not for a grade. In all the different places we end up, we'll be fighting to leave our mark and find our success story. For many, that will mean getting started right off the bat, joining the workforce, starting a business, or even serving our country. Others will head off to college or trade school to gain education, training, and student loan debt. I think a lot of us will find the ultimate success in starting a family. Hopefully not Sam Diaz. There are gonna be some tough times ahead. You may wonder if this is really what you've been working toward all these years. I have a story that might help. You all remember the flood that happened like five years back? It caused massive damage and left a lot of families displaced. One of the consequences, though far from the most severe, was that a wastewater treatment plant got totally wrecked. So a few schools, including Chapelo, couldn't use their bathrooms when school opened back up. We instead got these sort of trailers of bathrooms as a temporary fix. I, of course, was not impressed. Porta potties. No thanks. I'll just hold it. And hold it, I did. For eight hours a day or so. That's not where this story is going, okay? So, anyway, one day my teacher, Tracy Raguzis, says, Hey! Have you seen the new toilets? She's from the East Coast and lives the part, honestly. I inform her of my disdain for porta potties. But she says, dude, you gotta check these out. I resist for as long as I can, but finally agree to peruse the facilities on wheels. And my God, they were incredible. I'm not talking plastic tubs with holes cut out on top, okay? These had hardwood floors, faux granite countertops, and there was some kind of Febreze magic going on in the air, giving it a citrusy delight. The toilets resembled porcelain thrones more than porta potties. Especially the handicap accessible one. Not that I would know. They honestly put our regular bathrooms to shame. So, big picture. There will be moments when it feels like your life's gone down the toilet. But take a moment and look around, because that toilet is probably temporary, and there's always beauty in the most unusual circumstances. And there will be friends, like the ones sitting next to you right now, ready to help you see the possibility in what is different. Former Army Chief of Staff, General Eric Shinzeki, said, if you don't like change, you will like irrelevance even less. All right, you guys are amazing. When we meet again, I'm super excited to hear all of your stories and disappoint you with mine. Lots of bright futures on this field. Thanks for listening, and go Spartans! Next up, 
we have the Senior Spartan Choir, directed by Mrs. Hannah Webster and accompanied by Mr. Tom Nugent and Molly Duran. They're going to perform Time of Your Life from Green Day. We have one last treat for you seniors. If I can have up to the stage, Miss Cassie Bradshaw. She's gonna be accompanied by Mr. Nugent. Don't forget to remember me by Carrie Underwood. Like every Sunday, I called Mama up last night. 
Even when it's not, I tell her everything's all right. Then she took my hand and said, Now, Mama, don't forget to tell my baby sister I'll see you in the fall. Tell me, Ma, that I miss her. Yeah, I should give her a call. And make sure you tell Daddy that I'm still his little girl. Yeah, I still feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be. But don't forget to remember me. Don't forget to I will now ask Mr. John Hafley, District 6 board member and past Greeley West teacher, to accept the class of 2018. I certify that they have met all the requirements for graduation. It is my pleasure to present to you the class of 2018, Mr. Hafley, a contingent of 321 students. This class will be t attending over 30 colleges and universities across the country and has received over $1.3 million in scholarships. Jackson, I did do research on that. Uh, and we have over about a dozen students enlisting in the military. It has been a great pleasure and sincere privilege to work with this fine group of students. I could not have asked for a better group of young adults to work with. Mr. Hafley. Thank you, Mr. Cranson. What a great honor it is before to be before all of you, the class of 2018. The District 6 School Board sends its heartfelt greetings and congratulations. We're excited to join you, your family and friends, and the faculty and staff in proudly recognizing your accomplishments. It is my pleasure as a member of the Greeley Evans School District Board of Education to certify that each of you has met all the graduation requirements of Greeley West High School as recommended and certified by the faculty and staff. By the authority invested in me by the Board of Education, you are now authorized to receive your individual diploma. Congratulations to each of you. Announcing the senior graduates' names will be Mr. Kai Dietz, Mr. Dave Falter, Mr. Kelly Longacre, and Mr. Stephen Paulson. Assisting will be our junior class escorts, and with the diplomas will be staff members chosen by the students, as well as the Greeley West administration and the Board of Education and District Administrations. Sebastian Taylor Cannon. Kelsey Burham. Nathaniel Rodriguez. Lydia Arlene Pearl Ward. Brent Xavier Hart. Abdiraman Saeed. Dr.
Congratulations. Welcome. Don't, don't. Do uh, I did it. <laughs> All right, we're almost there. <laughs> to finish off the day, I'm going to ask our honors graduates to join me on the stage. These are students with 4.0s or higher. Jackson Starkey, Katie Gorsline, Samuel Diaz, Elise Johnson, Megan Arscott, Liz Bayon, Baylon Trejo, Ethan Shepard, Cassandra Bradshaw, Bennett Mueller, Spencer Evans, Lake Sands, and Peyton Buck.